It is the most magnificent structure on this earth. A full human brain that you can hold in one hand. Nothing can compare with it. Those cells can produce ideas. Have you ever thought how a cell could produce an idea? This is who you really are. Take away the brain, you take away the person. I've spent more than 60 years studying the brain. And it was pure joy. Don't you just love the brain? Marion Diamond's lectures on YouTube have over 1.7 million views, making her the second most popular college professor in the world. Before Marion Diamond's research, the accepted scientific understanding of the brain was profoundly mistaken on a key point. Joining us now, Dr. Marion Diamond. She has spent 30 years studying the brain. Konnichiwa, Marion Diamond. Marion Diamond is the author of the first study ever published about the brain of Albert Einstein. It is my pleasure to introduce Professor Marion Diamond. So welcome to our great university at Berkeley. How many of you have studied brains? How many have studied human brains? How many have seen a human brain? For those who haven't seen a brain, <laughs> well, when you see a lady with a hat box, you don't know what she's carrying. Do you? <laughs> and there you are. Did you know that this is what you hope you look like inside? <laughs> the major parts, you see the cerebrum. These deal with higher cognitive processing. For you to be thinking about what you want to do this evening, it may be coming out from your frontal lobe. Then you have a little brain, a cerebellum. How many of you have heard about a cerebellum? Things are just here? flooding we'll just onto my point. brain right now to share. Right. Put your right hand out. The marvelous things that this brain can do. This three pound mass that sits in there. Everybody wants a better brain. There's no doubt. If there's an opportunity to improve your brain, you want to be there. And so five items that we have found are essential for a better brain. I think of all the millions of things, but five shown in our work. And the first was diet. The second was exercise. The third was challenge. And the fourth was newness. And the fifth, we've added love. When somebody comes along with an entirely new idea that shatters the old one, this shatters a very important part of us, part of our internal world. And by nature of the beast, it's bitterly fought. Scientific advance doesn't occur on a linear continuum. It occurs in fits and stops and jolts and cliffs and abrupt changes. And I think Marion's work was a classic example of that. I think most people would have said, why are you doing that dumb experiment? You're just wasting a lot of rats and a lot of rat food. 
Uh, but in fact, she was right, and the, the scientific culture at that point was wrong. <laughs>